morning welcome back to my channel happy saturday everybody i hope you're all doing really good um so i'm mixing it up today i'm also going to be logging my weight loss and for the last few weeks probably since after december i just haven't been feeling um like I, I can be bothered to attempt to go to the gym to get my walks in to get my running to to eat healthy um but last night I just couldn't sleep I think it's because I ate so much that I just couldn't I just had stomach cramps and just such a pain in my stomach and it was gone three o'clock and I was still looking at the clock and I just I know that I need to get back onto my healthy journey um so I'm gonna insert the clip of me this morning. The reason why I'm not doing it was because I was naked on the scales and I just couldn't um risk like me making sure that I didn't edit out me being butt naked. Um so I got up this morning, I had a wee, you know, do all the usual stuff. Got on the scales naked because it's easier because then you know it's not my clothes are weighing this much. I know and I haven't got to religiously wear the same stuff every week. So it's always easier for me to weigh first thing in the morning after I've had a wee. Um, so I'm going to weigh every Saturday. It's not the 8th. It's not the 8th, it's the 11th. So Saturday the 11th of March. And I'm starting. So I've got on the scale. So I'm going to insert that clip now with me weighing. First week and I'm 13, 4 and 7 So, 13 stone, 4 and 7 8, so I've put on one stone. So, I can no longer say that I've lost 3 stone in COVID, I lost 2 stone in COVID. Um, for those who don't know, I lost my bulk of my weight from June 2020 till December 2020, so I lost, I lost, I lost 3 stone in, in 6 months. Then, the year of 2021, I was maintaining... Um, and then I reckon since November last year, so November 21 till now, I put on one stone. But I know the majority of that is salt um, because I had McDonald's yesterday in work. I had a Big Mac, I had chips. I had a salted caramel McFlurry and then Marcus came home last night and I had salt vinegar, crisps, jelly beans and uh, a Cadbury caramel. I didn't eat my cream egg, but then I knew. And I noticed when I'm editing my videos, I don't look like I used to. I've got so many chins, um, especially when I go to the side. Like when I'm talking or if I'm grabbing something, I'm like, uh, oh, that's just my eczema. I suffer really bad with my eczema. And I think a part of it is stress, eczema. I always flare it up if I'm stressed. So that is, that's doing my editing as well. So as you can see now, I got my gym gear on. So I'm off to the gym a Saturday and I gotta go to the gym for ten o'clock and I'm gonna do a half hour kangaroo boots class and it's amazing if I can video of me um in the boots I will. And then so that's ten till ten thirty. And then from quarter to eleven till quarter past eleven is trampolines so it's like everybody's on like a little baby trampoline and you're just going nuts for a half hour um obviously with the instructor in front of us um i absolutely love my gym but i haven't been since january and um, we're going to get back into it um so i'm going to be vlogging my weight loss every saturday if i can um today show you my meal prep um I will, but just to let you know, I'm kickstarting my journey by doing a one week, like, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's like a one week, um, I'm going to be basically fasting for like 16 to 18 hours a day, um, I did this challenge back in June last year, and I actually lost uh, 10 kilograms or 22 pounds in six weeks because it was a high, high intensity and um, you know so it's a lot of a lot of low calorie foods um a lot of workout fasting so obviously you've got a smaller window to eat so you're making the right choices and i absolutely loved it but i just have maintained the the fasting 
so that's what I'm going to be doing and then I get home from when I get home from the gym then about 20 past 11 um, I'm going to go straight and go and get the food shop because now I'm I'm fasting I'm not really going to be eating till about one o'clock today so last night I stopped eating at I think it was about eight o'clock so what's that eight so yeah I finished eating at eight o'clock last night and then I'm not going to eat until one o'clock so that's somewhere in between the, the 16 to the 18 hours um yeah I'm just going to bring you along like I said I'm only going to be doing these videos once a week every Saturday um so I can monitor it and for me it's accountability I'm putting out there what I weigh which I don't it don't bother me um other people knowing how much I weigh um because it's just a number it doesn't define me but um yeah so next week which will be the 19th of March It'd be interesting to see how much I lose in my first week. Um, and then we'll go on there after. So it was 9.39 and this morning I've only done... Well, I literally just put it on. I've only done 40 steps. So I'll come back and show you exactly what I've done. So the boots. Is it um? I did it everybody, I am absolutely shattered. Look how many steps I'm on. I feel absolutely awesome. I can't read my faces. Look how many steps I'm on. I'm on 9,204 and it's only quarter past 11. And I've burnt 370 calories. Hi everybody, I'm on this angle now. So I've just had my dinner. Or my first meal of the day. I don't understand. I don't know. So it's nearly half past two. Past two. And I'm on 12,000. Just over 12,000 steps. Um, I nearly burned 500 calories. So I charged my uh, water up this morning. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I woke up last night. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't even think I went to sleep. But when I was tossing and turning, I was like, I can't, my stomach was killing me. I thought I was having like a belly attack. It was really, really hurting me. So I'm quite lucky that when I put my mind to something, I can start. So I've started, I know it was a Saturday, but the last time I, I went through this kind of phase, I started like four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. I was like, right, no, it's got to start. And, and I have to do it there and then. So when I got up in the morning, I got straight on the scales and went to the gym, did two classes. Um, and I was in and out. I was, I know I went in a quarter to 10 and I came out to quarter past 11 and I felt amazing. Like the endorphins, I felt incredible. So I am kickstarting my um, health journey by having one week of intensity. But this is how I like to do it. So I'm not obviously just putting it out there that this is what I like to do. And the person that gave this to me is a qualified gym instructor and nutritionist. So, um, but I paid for this back in June. Um, but the thing is, you you know, you still get to keep the meal plan, and um, I've I've recorded it, like logged everything. I got this book. Yeah, I got this book. And this was Tuesday, the 1st of June, did a six week challenge. And my starting weight then, back in June, was 13 stone seven. So at least I'm not as heavy as I was. And by the end of it, I'd lost 22 pound. <clears throat> so I'd lost 10 kilograms in six weeks. Um, Cause I proper pushed myself to do it. Um, But it's not sustainable. She'll say that, she'll say, it is just to get you on the start. But I don't want to do this for six weeks because I got a lot coming up. Um, so we're going on tour with rugby. Um, I think it's in well, just under seven weeks now. We will be going on Friday, the 29th of April. Um, and you know, I wanna I wanna get back to feeling great, feeling trim, um, sleeping, you know, not having this rolling over to the side and your gut is hanging over because it's just full of rubbish that's not meant to be inside of it um 
So the, the basic rules are fasting 16 to 18 hours a day. During this fasting period, I'm not allowed no food and drinks only. Water, drink plenty, which I try to. You know that I've, I've been trying to drink loads of water. Black tea or coffee, sweeteners permitted. permitted. Diet and sugar-free soft drinks or green and herbal teas. So, yeah, that, that's what I basically want to do. I'm not expecting the same results as last time because last time I did this diet, um, I've done it twice now. Um, the first time I did this plan, I lost nine pounds my first week. And then the second time I did it, so I did it like six months apart, I lost four pounds. Um, so I'm starting today, Saturday the 2nd, no it's not, Saturday the 12th of March and I'll be finishing this on Saturday the 19th of March 2022. Um, but yeah, I'm allowed, I'm allowed, I can't, I can't eat loads. Yeah, so there's, there's quite a bit that I can eat. Um, I'm allowed, like, it's really good to eat steak. So one day I've got steak and sweet potato and green beans, you know, just like basic eating, but healthy. I'm allowed to eat as much chicken as I want. Um, I don't like tuna. I don't like salmon. I've tried it, I've tried it, I've tried it all, but I don't like it. I'm allowed like homemade egg McMuffins. I'm allowed um, peanut chocolate balls. And basically it's chocolate, dark chocolate. Rolled oats, peanut butter. I don't know how to say this word. Desiccated, desiccated coconut, like shredded coconut, and then this algarve nectar, and it makes like twelve amazing peanut balls, and they are just the right amount of chocolate sweetness. Um. Oh, they they fill you up and you allow two of them. Um, not every day. Um, eggs, beans, um, a lot of. They say to eat a lot of dark veg would be like kale, spinach, green beans, um, broccoli, um, lettuce, peppers, just all good stuff like that. Um, but obviously you're on a smaller scale, so, um my portions are ridiculous so I'm, I might be I may as well show you so this is like a standard plate so instead so that i've only got one of these left but and i'll just try eating off us and on a smaller plate yeah so just try having smaller portions but yeah so i'm gonna um and i well, for me personally i find it best to log everything down so as soon as i put this up and i'll write it down because then i can monitor it and i'll keep this like i said about this book now since last june and it went for all the way through to july and i absolutely loved it so i've got week one shredding fat i don't know what that means it just come to me um but saturday the 12th uh, like i said my first meal of the day has been 2 15 and i i instantly feel great so i'm gonna smash 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 all the water um, I'm allowed, like, I bought Belucine in my one of my hauls um, later on this week. That I'm allowed Pepsi, I'm allowed squash, but it's all going to be sugar free. Um, I'm going to have a week off the tea because I personally can't drink tea without milk because my tea is basically milk, free sweeteners, a little bit of water, dipping in out of the tea bag. Um, yeah, and I feel great. So, I'm going to monitor this now for the next seven odd weeks, uh, well, up until I get on tour. Um, I, I just wanted to become a, a health style. But the first week, I think everybody's the same. The first week, everybody wants to see results straight away. Um, I am going to be doing it by the scale, only for this for, for this time. Because I think it's just easier for me to record. Like, if Marcus is not here, he's not going to be able to take photos of me. Um... Or you, you might not be able to help me to measure, you know, get the measuring tape and measure me. So at the minute I'm going to be doing all measurements via um, the weighing scales. I didn't say goodbye. So basically I just want you to know that I'm doing it for myself. Um, by me not having sleep because I feel so sluggish. Is it helping nobody?
So I just wanted everybody to know that I'm doing it for myself. Um, and it doesn't matter if you've fallen off the bandwagon. Um, you know, for me to maintain two weight loss um, and for anybody to lose any kind of weight during lockdown. Um, so I'm not punishing myself. It's not, I'm not being disheartened because I put on a stone. Um, I just want to put that out there that I'm still really proud of myself because I've still kept two stone off. It's just I haven't been as strict with my choices. Um, and I haven't had any hurtful comments. It's, it's, it's me. It's all in me. Um, since I've started YouTube now, which has been like end of December, January, I've noticed the last couple of weeks, but no, especially my video on, I filmed it on Tuesday and I it went out on Friday with my cleaning when my kid was home sick. I was like, what was that? I didn't like any of my angles. That's why the video was so choppy. Because I was like, what's that? Why, why, why do I look so, ugh? So why do I look so big? Um, and I I did notice earlier on then with my face, especially when I was doing my, um, like if I was sat like in my bedroom and I was picking up clothes, um, or picking out items from the bag and I would turn, I but I got it now. Everybody's got double chin, but because because I had got rid of mine, and my face was a lot slimmer, but I feel like. Obviously, I'm really tired now. It's really late um, in the afternoon. Um, and it's because I haven't obviously slept. Um, but yeah, I know tomorrow now on Sunday, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to feel brand new. And in work, I'm going to make sure I'm prepping for work so that I don't go opting for the sweets and the chocolate that they provide in work. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing it for me because I feel like... Like I said, I thought I was having a belly attack last night, not a heart attack. I thought I was having a belly attack. It was horrible. I couldn't I couldn't get comfortable on my left side, on my right side, sleeping on my back, and I just felt I felt like my arteries were clogged. I thought that my body was working so hard for me just to rest. So no wonder when I'm trying to walk up the stairs, am I struggling? But yeah, even when I, my body was completely relaxed, my body was doing overtime and I felt it. I felt it so, it, oh, it's such a horrible feeling. I don't know if anybody have ever experienced that feeling when you just, I'm just sick and tired now. And I, it, it, there's no shame in falling off the bandwagon. It doesn't matter, just get back on. Get back on the wagon, get back on the horse. Like I said, this is gonna be a lifestyle for me. So I'm not being harsh on myself. Um, I've got to do it, I've got to do it for me and like I said, it's no point me even being tired because if I'm tired, I'm going to be ratty, I'm going to be miserable, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to be snappy towards the kids, snappy towards Marcus, I don't want that um, and hopefully then you'll get like a, a brighter looking Alex. So yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you, so take care, stay safe and stay warm. Bye everyone.